Hi and welcome to this video about releasing that need to be in control. So we've all felt out of control at some point in our life and it's one thing that really pulls on our negative emotions, that, that panic we can feel, that anxiety we can feel, the upset and irritation when we feel completely out of control of something in our life. So this uses a very simple technique called EFT or tapping where you use basic talk therapy while tapping on meridian points, acupuncture points on the face and parts of the body. It's really simple, you don't have to do anything other than copy what I'm doing and repeat after me. So I'll show you the basic points that we'll be using. We have the karate chop point, between where the eyebrows start, the bone on the edge of the eye, the bone under the eye, the dip between the nose, the dip of the chin, under the collarbone, under the arms, and just on top of the head. So if you've not done EFT before, it can sound quite strange, it can look quite strange, bear with it and try it. It's a really simple technique, but it does cause instant calm to negative emotions. So today we're going to concentrate on those painful feelings of control. So just tapping gently on the karate bone, and you're just going to be repeating after me. If you say it differently from me, or you tap in a different place, don't worry, just go with it. Even though. I have this intense need to be in control. I feel so out of control. Things in my life aren't in my control. And it fills me with anxiety. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. Even though I have to be in control. I can't let go of control. Everything will go wrong. I feel so irritated when I'm not in control. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. Even though I'm so full of anxiety and irritation. Because I'm not in control. I'm not in control of the situation. I don't feel in control of my life and it fills me with fear. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. And coming to the first tapping point between the eyebrows, I have to be in control. I need to be in control. I want to be in control. I don't feel in control of my life. Other people are controlling my life. feel so anxious. I'm so full of fear. When I'm not in control. I have to be in control. I hate not being in control. I've got to be in control. I feel so anxious when I think about losing control. I feel so scared. When I'm not in control. And just tapping along on your chest bone, a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Give your hands a little shake. Move your body a little bit. And then we're going to come back to this karate point again and just do another round. Even though I feel so anxious. 
if I lose control. And I feel so irritated when other people are in control of my life. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. Even though I can't lose control. It's not safe to lose control. I want to be in control. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. Even though I have this deep need to be in control. I can't lose control. I hate not being in control. I deeply and completely love and respect all of me. And coming to the first tapping point. I have to be in control. I feel so anxious when I think of not being in control. I feel so irritated when other people control my life. I can't lose control. Bad things happen when I lose control. I'm so scared of losing control. I have to control everything. But I know that's impossible. There's so much I can't control. And nothing bad really happens. So many things just flow. It's safe to lose control sometimes. I don't have to control everything. No one is controlling me, not really. I'm in control of my life. I make the decisions about my life. So I choose to soften this fear. This fear of losing control. And I choose to soften this irritation. About others controlling me. No one is controlling me. It's safe to soften my need to control. I am safe. I have all the control I need. It feels good to relax the control. It's sometimes fun to just let things happen. Exciting things happen. I feel more relaxed. It's safe to release control. And just gently tapping along in your chest bone. A deep breath in. 
and slowly out. Give your hands a little shiggle. And hopefully you're feeling a bit more relaxed about the idea of losing control. It's something which plays such a big part in all of our lives. To really get rid of that anxiety and the, the fear that you might have around control or being controlled, you need to be doing EFT a little bit more personally, so making the words that you say more specific and personal to yourself. I can offer those services if you come over and find me at Sky Rose Wellbeing on Facebook, or you can find out more about me on my channel, or you can find out plenty more videos on YouTube. I offer one-on-one -on -one services and also group, weekly group and monthly group workshops that I do. So come over and find out what I do. And I hope you're feeling a lot calmer. Have a good day. EFT can help to support all kinds of negative emotions and negative patterns that you're in. I run a series of online groups weekly and monthly. There is a weekly tapping group, which is on a Monday, which is for just getting rid of the worries that you've got about the week. A coffee and tap on Friday during the day, which is for releasing the upsets you've had during the week. I run happy tappy time for little children, for just the worries they've got, like fear of the dark and things like that. And one for teenagers with angst to help support them with all of their life struggles that they're going through. Once a month, I also run an evening session, which goes more deeper, goes into the belly of the beast, looks at more of the darker emotions that are going on in our lives just now. So if you're interested in any of those groups, come over to Sky Rose Wellbeing on Facebook and book a place. Or if you'd like a more personal experience, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me where we can go more in depth into what your actual issues are and what your problems are to help support you move forward in your life. Hope to see you there.